Hey guys, what's going on? Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can make Premiere Pro work better for you. So I'm just gonna give you some tips and tricks, little settings you can tweak in Premiere that will hopefully help your workflow and just make Premiere Pro a little easier to work in. All right, the first tip, this might seem obvious, but learn the shortcut. There are a lot of things that might take 10 seconds to do with just your mouse that you can do in an instant just by pressing a key. And while just saving a few seconds by learning a shortcut may not seem like a lot of time, if you're editing a lot, then those few seconds build up to minutes. And over the course of working on a large project, that could save you potentially hours of time just by using shortcuts and not clicking on everything with your mouse. Now, there might also be a lot of things you do in Premiere that don't have shortcuts and you can create them. Premiere has a pretty easy to use layout for how to create a shortcut. If you go to your keyboard shortcuts, it'll show you a whole layout of your keyboard and what all the keys do. From there, you can type in a certain action or a certain thing that you like to do in Premiere, and then all you have to do is drag and drop it onto a certain key. Now, a lot of the keys already have shortcuts on them, but you can set different shortcuts for pressing a key while holding Control or Alt or Shift. And once you become fluent with all of these shortcuts, your editing will become so much faster. For example, one feature in Premiere I really like to use is the nest feature, which is essentially just taking multiple clips and combining them into one clip. But by default, there's no shortcut set up for this. So if I was to do it normally, I would have to select my clip, right click, hit nest sequence, type in the name of the sequence, and then hit OK. But now with a shortcut, I just have to press Ctrl N and hit OK, and the nested sequence is created. You see it saved me maybe two seconds, but if I'm doing that 20 times in a project, then that starts to add up over time. Tip number two is something else you can do that will definitely save you time in Premiere, and that's create presets for effects that you use a lot. So say you like to do a, an opacity fade, or you like to have a zoom in on your clip or something like that, or maybe it's just a color grade that you really like. If it's something you find yourself doing a lot to a clip, then all you have to do is once you've done it once, you just right click on that specific effect and hit save as a preset. You can even select multiple effects to put together into one preset. And then all you have to do is drag and drop it right onto the clip. And if it's a preset that involves keyframes, you can choose so that those keyframes extend out over the duration of the clip. You can choose them so that they're anchored to the beginning of the clip or so they're anchored to the end of the clip. This is a great way if you've created some custom transitions or little keyframed effects in Premiere. It, this is a great way to just be able to save it and then just copy and paste it when you need. This tip can actually save you a ton of time depending on the effect. Normally I might take 10 to 15 minutes to color grade a video like this, but if I just do it once in a way that I like, I can save that as a preset and just drag and drop. And now that's a whole 10 minutes of my editing time that I just completely removed. This one isn't even like a over time it adds up kind of thing. You could be saving a lot of time every single time you use this. Another example is this sort of zoom effect I have. I like to use this if I'm putting emphasis on a point, but creating these keyframes and adjusting the curve so it's at the smoothness level that I like can take five to 10 minutes for every clip that I do it on. So I've just created a zoom in effect and a zoom out effect that I can apply to the beginning or end of a clip. And now I can just drag or drop it onto any clip I want. And it's just going to apply that same effect for me. Tip number three, create custom layouts. You may not know this, but Premiere Pro actually has one of the most customizable interfaces out of any editing software. Any single window that you see on the screen, you can resize, move to a different area, or just delete completely. In fact, there's a ton of windows that are there that you may not even know existed because they aren't there by default. But if you go up to the Windows tab, you can see every different window that you can use. So what I recommend you do is delete all the windows in your workspace that you never use because they're just taking up space and if you're never touching them, then just get rid of them. Then once you have all the windows you want, you can group them together or make them different sizes. For example, if you do a lot of work in your timeline and you want to sort of expand that so you can see all your different layers, you can make your preview window smaller or your project window smaller. If these are things that you don't use as often, then just make them smaller or get rid of them. Or maybe for example, you really like a big view of your preview when you're watching your videos. Well then make your preview window bigger and make your effects window smaller. Or maybe you don't want to compromise on certain things. Maybe you want to have large windows for some things and large windows for other things. Well then just create multiple workspaces. You can have different workspaces for different things if you want one for color grading and one for assembling your clips 
and one for effects, you can do that. You can save them as separate presets and then just select them when you wanna to switch to them. My fourth and final tip for you can summed up by pretty much just saying, stay organized. Again, this might sound kind of obvious, but color code your clips, create folders, organize them. If you go into your project settings window and select the use label for all instances box, then that means if you make one clip a certain color label in your project files, it'll show up that color in your timeline. And this is a great way to separate your music from your sound effects or your A-roll from your B-roll. By color coding your clips and putting them in the proper folders, your workflow will really speed up because you can look at something and in an instant know what it is. You don't have to click on it, look at the file name, think about it for a few seconds. You can just look at it and go, oh, that audio clip has an orange label. That's one of the songs I'm using. Or, oh, all these clips are violet. That means I'm using them for my B-roll. And all the blue clips are my A-roll. It's all about just being organized so that you're not fumbling around and trying to find things. You just know where everything is. If you use these tips, your editing should be faster and more efficient. And one of the best qualities you can have as an editor is somebody who gets the same work done as someone else, but they do it faster. Because time is money, especially if you're being paid to do the job. Now, something else I wanna to add to this is that if any of these tips don't work for you, or if you're looking at other tips on the internet and you find them kind of difficult to use, don't. You don't have to follow the, the best trends for editing or whatever, just because someone else is telling you you should. Because when it comes down to it, your editing is about how well you can interact with your editing software. And that's you specifically, not me or some other person making a video. Basically, I'm just saying, do whatever works for you. But if any of these tips helped you, or if you use them already, or maybe you have some more tips like this, please leave them in the comments down below. Uh, I read all my comments and I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. I'm also filming at a different angle than normal, more zoomed in lens. So if you like this look, then let me know and I'll keep doing it. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you wanna see more, please subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.